and welcome to the crypto trading course. Uh, it's going to be a five day course and today we're going to focus on all the different parts in day one. It's going to be a pretty quick day, it's going to be more of an overview, uh, but we're also going to dive right into uh, getting your account set up on the exchanges. <clears throat> which is mostly going to be all on your end. So for me, it's going to be fairly quick. Also keep all these videos as quick as possible so you guys can really dive into the good stuff. Um, a little side note ahead of time is this whole course is already done um, all five days and you can already view each day if you just go to crypto.enslow.com uh, forward slash community forward slash course or in the nav bar you click on course. Uh, you don't even have to be logged in. You just uh, can click on it and go to the day you're on. So it's completely free, uh, no account required. You could always look back to it and each course uh, is going to have videos attached to it. All right, so let's get started. So um, first, congratulations for getting started. Oftentimes that's the, uh, the biggest hurdle. And getting started uh, with investing or trading or anything is super important. So I'm super excited that you took the time to start learning and um, there's, there's a lot to do. So let's dive right into it. Something that's really important on this, in this course is, is I try to make it extremely hands-on. It's kind of like a relaxed game of poker with your friends, right? Uh, it's completely worthless unless all of a sudden, you know, you put five or ten dollars even uh, in and all of a sudden um, everyone starts taking the game extremely seriously. So that's that's kind of what we're going to try to do on this course a little bit. Um, that really won't happen till about day five, but um, getting there, uh, we want to make sure you're ready. And the whole time you can do, you're can do you doing the course, I'm actually going to be sending out alerts, I'm going to be put, making watch lists, it's all that good stuff. So you can do the course alongside of you know, learning exactly what I'm doing every day because everything I'm trading, all my watch lists, all my trades, everything's documented and you can see everything happening in real time. <clears throat> um, I'm, fairly, I'm fairly active. I trade about uh, four, four times a week, maybe five times. Uh, this week's been a little bit more. Um, so it really depends, you know, if I'm traveling, um, if I'm not traveling, if I'm fully focused or, you know, my schedule a little bit. The most important thing is just don't get overwhelmed. Um, it's going to sound like a lot. Um, we're actually going to, we're going to cover a lot, but um, the longer you stick with something, the more it makes sense. I remember when I was first getting into trading along, I don't know, five years ago now, um, I was a bit overwhelmed. There's, there's so many terms, so many factors that I didn't know. But um, after a while, you kind of start figuring it out. If, if, as long as you're kind of involved in something long enough, you're, you're gonna, it's gonna start making sense at one point. A main focus of this course is that I want you to be fully self-sufficient afterwards. So ideally, um, as sad as it is, uh, you shouldn't need me at one point. Um, but it does help trading in a community. Uh, just kind of feeding off of everyone's ideas is so uh, important. I always get good ideas from uh, the chat room or some friends that I'm trading with. Um, you know, check this out or check this pattern out or over here, um, you know, Litecoin or ZRX is forming a perfect pattern. Like, um, how come you're not looking at that? I'm like, because, you know, there's so many things going on that sometimes you miss patterns. So, um, just take your time, uh, get involved in the community, uh, start posting ideas once you kind of get the vibe of it, and that's kind of what it's all about. So what to expect over the next five days? Yeah, day one is basically a short intro day. It's going to be um, uh, kind of reviewing all the five, di five days. We're also going to review uh, what uh, the weird word Enzlo is, um, who I am, why am I teaching crypto. Um, we're going to also, at the, at the end, dive into... Uh, I think three or four exchanges that I often use, uh, the fees associated with them. And we're also going to learn the difference between a maker and a taker, um, which is quite important. All right. In day two, we're going to, let's see, succeeding in crypto and mastering exchanges. So day two is uh, really important. We're going to go over a lot of strategies um, and rules, uh, specifically rules, kind of uh, how to kind of consistently be profitable and what to look for. Uh, we're going to have, I think there's five or seven rules. I always forget because I kind of keep adding and uh, kind of rewriting it, trying to make it nicer. But in, in concept, there's there's a few rules that are consistent depending on 
doesn't really matter how you word it. So we're going to review that. We're also going to um, figure out how to do accounting. So that's already done in advance. Um, and documentation. We're going to really dive hardcore in documentation, which is, I think, one of the most important parts about trading. Um, day three, we're going to... Oh, day three is the trader course. This is this is one of my favorite because um, it, it goes through all the chart patterns, and uh, there's there's just so much to learn from it, especially if you're new. Uh, if you're not new to trading, then I think a lot of this stuff might be repeat. But um, day day three is really going to be how we apply kind of uh, the patterns to crypto trading and all that fun stuff. Uh, we're also going to review um, the trading screens that we use to kind of monitor the different trades. Uh, day four, uh, the crypto investor course. So as you can see on the top, there's the trader and then there's the investor. I kind of separate the two because um, you you shouldn't go into a day trade, you know, turning it into an investment. And um, you can't say the same about uh, the investor. Like you have to have a longer term horizon or maybe it's a short swing trade, but it's kind of, you want to separate the two entirely. Uh, if, if people start thinking, you know, oh, this, this is, uh, this trade's going by it. I'm gonna bad. I'm gonna turn it into investment. That's that's a slippery slope, um, to say the least. <clears throat> um, anything else? Oh yeah, day five, obviously. So uh, day five is going to be about getting started. Um, we'll we'll uh, see. We'll divide up, uh, kind of give a portfolio allocation um, that I personally use. Um, we're going to review how to start your trading day. So, you know, if you don't want to just get out of bed and start trading, that's extremely dangerous. I do it sometimes and it, it usually never ends good. Um, got to have your breakfast first. Um, the, but the most important part is building a watch list. You want to go into your day with a watch list or else you're just, um, you're going to see so many things and kind of, and you're just going to be running around like a squirrel and you don't want that. Um, also, by day five, if you have joined our or filled out the application for the Crypto Apprentice program, so the CAP program, um, you might already have a phone call scheduled with me or somebody on the team um, where we're going to review some important things and kind of your goals and if you would be a good fit for the program. Uh, that's everything for now, and uh, stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be diving in. Uh, wait for it who I am and what Enzlo is. Ciao, ciao.